Hey everybody, Mescatros34 here with another Mad Balls review. Um, here today we've got Rep Vial. Um, again, this is another Series 1 Mad Ball. I picked up a bunch of these uh, from a specialty toy store in my area the other day. Uh, I figured I would review them for you. Um, in case you haven't seen the other reviews, I'll go over uh, basics of the packaging and stuff. Uh, Mad Balls created in 86 to capitalize on the gross out. Uh, trend created by the Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, Mad Balls are basically just balls that look like kind of gross monster type things. Um, these aren't vintage. These are obviously newer from 2006, the resurgence. Back in the 80s, these things were really big. Uh, they had a cartoon and they had multiple spin-off toy series on top of the normal Mad Balls. Um, they weren't as big when they came back because toys don't really get the special treatment that they got back in the 80s these days. So they kind of made two new series, which were both insanely awesome, and then they just kind of stopped with it. So I found three figures in the store, and I snatched them up as soon as I saw them. They were $8 a pop, so 25 altogether after tax, uh, which I was fine with. And um, so I'll show you the box. It says you can toss them, bounce them, and catch them. Um, it's got the character's name card with a little cartoon drawing of them, which I like. Um, it says they're obnoxious and gross, says Mad Balls. I like the aesthetic official product. It's uh, green and green and purple. I, I already opened them, but I put it back in because I wanted to show that it was an official product. And um, because there are a lot of bootlegs of these things floating around. Um, here's the back. Uh, they have like a little hole. This one was damaged, but I bought it anyway because I just wanted Rep Vile. I think he's really cool. One of the cooler Series 1 Mad Balls from the resurgence. Um, it's got the backstory, which I don't feel like reading for a second time. Uh, it says obnoxious and gross official product, uh, publishers and things of that nature. Um, it's got the rest of the Series 1 Mad Balls, uh, which aren't that cool except for Skullface, Repvile, Hornhead, and Screamin' Mimi, who I think is awesome because it's just a baseball with a face, basically. I couldn't find him anywhere. Um, so I'll open Repvile for you. Um, Now, I, I assume Repvile is supposed to be a lizard creature of some sort. Uh, he's covered in horns, as you can see, although a lot of them are uncolored, which uh, I don't like. The paint detailing on the Mad Balls isn't very good, because, you know, they're kids' toys. I don't think anybody expected them to get as big with collectors as they ended up getting. So, I mean, I can forgive the fact that they're not insanely detailed. I like these, um, I guess you could call them spikes that he has on his back of his head. They have a lot going on with them. He's got some slime coming out of his mouth and some snot dripping out of his nose. I like the design where the one eye is smaller than the other. It makes him look a little bit more intense. Um, he's got his one little fang sticking out. I like Rep Violet. I think he's one of the cooler new Mad Balls. Um, now, in the 80s, they had like a backstory and there were alignments and stuff. And um, Now, Rep Vile was never around in the 80s. He was actually, um, he replaced an old Mad Ball named Arg, and I'll show you the picture of Arg. And now you can see there are some similarities between the two figures. Arg had this one giant eye and one eye closed, and now I'm not sure why they replaced Arg, um... I think Arg was a little bit cooler looking than Repfile, to be honest. Um, but it looked like Arg was more of like a Frankenstein-type lizard monster, and Repfile is more just like a creature of some sort. I still think Repfile's cool. He's got a nice aesthetic going for him. Um, yeah, you know, a lot of good detail on these. Uh, you can throw them around if you want, uh, but they do tear easily, so do it inside. Um, I just have them on my dresser. All in all, I'd give Rep Vile uh, three out of five stars. Um, I think I like his. I like the guy he was supposed to replace Arg a little bit better than him because Arg didn't. Uh, Arg had the stitch across his head that I liked, and I liked how his one eye was stitched shut. Um, but I think Rep Vile is cool. I liked him a lot more when I first saw him, but uh, then when I finally got him, I was kind of just like, eh. Uh, he doesn't really live up to the high standards set by Skullface and Hornhead. So, um, 
thanks for watching this review. Um, if you enjoyed it, uh, subscribe. And if not, uh, I guess dislike it and tell me why in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching.